This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Hey everybody, welcome to the first part of Black Orchestra. Now, Tina and I gave this a good go. We kind of broke it up into pieces and we didn't tape everything. We kind of gave you a good flavor of it, but you get the feel of this co-op. And we both hope you enjoy our presentation of Black Orchestra. Without further ado, let's go check it out. Okay, so we saw Black Orchestra at, at uh, Huracan, and we played it, and you guys probably see the video, and I'm going to do an intro, an outro, that you guys probably will, will announce that we were coming to do this. So, we're going to play it ourselves, because we really like the game, but I don't think people were focused on it, and I don't think we got the true experience of it. Would you agree with that, Tina? Yeah, I really want to know how this plays with less people, uh, so we're going to do a two-player game today. Yes. So we're, we're going to go in and out, and we're going to try to speed it along. Uh, we were going to do it live, but we decided to do it taped. So what's going to happen is we're just going to keep it, the camera on for a little bit, and we'll update you on turns and key events. Yeah, so give you a little bit of a context of the game. This is a co-op game, so I'm once again working alongside of, with Rob, uh, trying to win. Uh, and you guys so know how, how well that goes. Um, it works when I'm working against you, but doesn't work well when I'm with you. Yes. You know, we always lose, but right. we'll see what happens. So, uh, context is, it's 1936, we're trying to conspire against Hitler, uh, and uh, essentially trying to get rid of him. Yeah. And the main mechanic of the game is, we're trying to move around and collect items uh, and figure out draw cards that would help us and in these cards it will tell us what we need to collect to in order to maximize our chances to defeat Hitler and so there are cards in here that will let us know what we need to collect and essentially um, we can attempt to assassinate Hitler by rolling dice and trying to get the dice rolls which is the target rolls um, but the items that we collect along the, along the way will help us do that and of course, bad stuff will happen, and it's triggered by these cards here. Um, and so a few ways we can lose. Number one is if we need to draw an event card. These are the event cards. We draw one at the end of each player's turn. If we need to draw one and there's no card there, we lose the game. If everybody's in prison, and we'll explain when that happens, if everybody's in <laughs> prison, then we lose the game as well. So that's just the game. Uh, I'm going to be Mr. Carl Gore Deller. He's a civilian, he's a politician and a businessman, and the characters are basically all the same, except um, there's three types of characters, civilian, intelligence, and military, and also they each have a special power, if you will, that's under motivation. So if I can increase my motivation to this level, then this activates, the special power activates, and it allows me to, at the start of my turn, draw three cards to add to my dossier. So I'll be able to collect more resources and special abilities to help me on, on my quest here. Uh, and also increases my card limit by a little bit here. And then Rob is gonna be... It looks just like me too. This gentleman. Uh, yeah, he looks grumpy. General Ludwig Beck. Mr. General here is part of the military. He's the chief of the general staff, very powerful guy. And when he's motivated, he uh, is unaffected by Hitler and the deputy penalty, penalties. And he actually adds a, an extra die to the plot attempt. Um, so that's pretty good. It allows him to uh, deflect some of the penalties that you might get when you're in the same space as the enemies. And then also will help us on our final quest to assassinate Hitler there. Because that's who I'm trying to drill. Exactly. Thank you. All right, so to start, we put our cubes. Uh, it's on timid in terms of motivation level, so lowest yeah, low. level. Yep. Uh, actually, suspicion is on medium. Okay. And these are actually two things we're trying to balance in the game: is how motivated we are, and how what's the level of suspicion 
Hitler and his team has on us. Because if it's too high, they will throw us into prison, and as you know, that's one of the lost conditions. So we're trying to balance these two things. Increase this and lower this. Alright, so timid and medium. Uh, we all start in a train station, mm -hmm. and then we'll travel around this board here to acquire the items. So Rob, uh, I think the person with the most black goes first. That would be me. That would be you. So right. you are blue. Oh yes, I am. And on your turn, you get oh. three actions. They're all listed on this. So I'm going to actually roll these dice. Yeah, so what, I, what Rob's going to do now is the conspire action. It allows him to roll three dice. And you can only do this once per turn. Mm -hmm. Show us what you roll. So what he got is three and a two. So that's five. That means he gets another five actions for this turn. He also got a target. So this is actually a pretty good roll. I know. Uh, so this target will actually go into this descent track. And when you roll three of these, it accumulates over time. When you have three, you get to increase the motivation of your any character by one, mm -hmm. one level. Or you can decrease Hitler's military support by one. Um, and military support is essential as we attempt to get rid of Hitler. And we'll explain that later. But it allows us to lower this or increase motivation. So that's a really good rule. What are you going to do with your five actions, Rob? So I'm going to move now because it's the first turn. We can only pretty much go in this area here. Right. So we're in stage one. We can only stay in either Berlin, which mm -hmm. is this area, or any of the spaces with number one. So I'm going to move for one. I'm going to, that turns over. It's a signature. Uh, so oh. for an action, you can move. And then for another action, you can discover this item. So mm -hmm. that would that's be two, two actions. I'm going to pick this up for three. Third action is pick an item up. Yep. I'm, I'm going to pull a card. Fourth action, he's going to um, grab a card from the dossier. Here we go. Okay. Oh. Oops, sorry. Oh, it's and a plot. What do we have? Let's show them. So Rob got a plot card. Poison parcel. So plot cards are essential to this game. It allows mm -hmm. us to, uh, essentially it lets us roll against Hitler to get rid of him. So you're going to be collecting signatures, great. Yeah, that's one. That's, I'm sorry, that's I already got picked it. Up. Yep. You're going to be collecting poison and map. Uh, these optional elements essentially add dice. If you hold those items, it will add more dice to your roll against Hitler. All mm. right, so here you go. All right, there we go. Good, good card. Thanks. And I have one more move. Uh, one more action. One more action. Okay. Um, hmm. Wonder if I should move to the chancellery. I do have the thing that it, so moving here would be my final action. Great. All right. <clears throat> and then at the end of your turn, we have to draw the bad yes. guys card. So Let's draw. from stage one. All right. It is a key event. Raise Hitler's military support by one. And move, going, uh, uh, Goring. To the chancellery. Ooh, that's where you're at. Yes. Okay, you don't want to be in the same space as the bad guys because mm -hmm. at the start of your turn, if you're in the same space as uh, one of the deputies or Hitler, you will suffer a negative effect. And so if you start with him, you will have to discard an item. And you right. don't want to do that. No. So we'll have to think about whether there's anything we can do to get you out of that. Exactly. Well, hopefully um, he moves. Alright, so that goes, that goes over into... Here. Is it a key event? Yes, it is. I don't think... It doesn't say key event. Oh, I thought it said key event. If this stage is a key event... Oh, okay. This is a cool. key Okay, there we go. So I will also start my turn <coughs> with uh, the conspire action. And actually, correction on that. The conspire action, you can actually spend each action to roll a die. So what you did was you spent, spent all, all my of your actions. allotment of three actions to roll all three dice, but that was a good roll. So you can potentially spend all the dice and get less actions than Bad otherwise. Bad things can happen. Right. All right, so let's see. Oh, wow. You had another good one. Yeah, because there, there are bad stuff on the <clears throat> dice, which is this one. But I got five, five mm -hmm. actions and another target. That's pretty good. All right, mm -hmm. so five actions. 
maybe I'll move. Uh, we don't want to move. Actually, I could move down here. True. All right, let's do that. Move one. Mm -hmm. Discover the item two. It's poison. Okay, we can use that. We could use that. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna pick it up. Three. Okay. Uh, four, discover five. Poison again. All right. That's my turn, and then we'll draw the event. Hopefully it moves that guy. And we have, whoops. Deputies deployed, move Borman to Hanover. Okay. Uh, that would uh, be Borman. Right here? And he's going to Hanover? Yep. So here. Okay, there we go. He's hanging out with his bud. Going to Tenenberg. Ah, ha, ha. We got is that lucky. where I am? Yeah. No. Okay, no. good. No, what I meant is now I don't lose that item I needed. Nice. Move Himmler to Nuremberg. Himmler to Nuremberg. Okay, there we go. All right. It's your turn. All right. So... <clears throat> Let's see, what do I want to do here? Well, I'm on a tear here, so I'm going to, I'm going to try to... Roll, spend all three actions. Okay. Nice. Seven. That's going to be very seven, helpful. Seven actions. Okay, so um, I'm going to turn this over for one. Keys. keys. I don't need keys, so I'm not going to worry about that. That's one. Then I'm going to come over here for two. Mm-hmm. Three. Poison, okay, I'm gonna take the poison mm -hmm. for four. Um, this is all one area, so I can go. Back to the train station. Yep, everything in Berlin is essentially considered adjacent. Six. You might wanna draw a card. Four, no, uh, yeah, I'm gonna draw a card. That's the last action? No, um, I, w I turned that over for one. No, I picked the, up the, po I, okay. I turned over that one for one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that'll be six. Um, move two deputies to any one space. This might be good, so I'm going to keep this one. Uh, so Rob should... got this card, and he can keep it <clears throat> in his dossier. Well, I can't go to Prague. Right now, our maximum is two cards. So I'm going to draw another card. Okay. So now you're at your dossier maximum. Yes. Uh-oh. I have um, inspiring speech. Oh. Go ahead. Here, take it. All right. So this is an illegal card. Inspiring speech. He can spend an action. That's what the symbol means. To discard the card. All conspirators in your space, including yourself, raise your motivation by one. Mm. I like that. So do I. Keep that. I will. All right, and that is going to be my turn. Awesome. All right, I, I really want that target because mm -hmm. I would like to raise. Ooh. Got it. All right, so essentially, this we're gonna spend this now. We got. Mm -hmm. Spend the three. Okay. Um, uh, what's your special? My special is. Oh, you mean when I get motivated? Mm -hmm. uh, you are unaffected by Hitler and deputies' penalties. And I can add a... a right, okay. I'm going to get myself up first. Okay. I'm going to increase my motivation to skeptical. Mm -hmm. So now my dossier limit is four. Okay. And then for my last two actions, first I'm going to draw a card. Okay. I don't think I'm on a move. I'll draw a card. Got history repeats itself. Shuffle all discard conspirator cards back in the conspirator deck, then add the top card of the deck to your dossier. Okay, that's one. Okay. Second action. Uh, so I, I'm looking for plot cards. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. So I'm gonna draw again. Okay. And I do get a plot card. That's good. Hidden bomb. Uh, so optional elements is civilian, which I am, explosives and keys, and uh, oh, explosives, 
actually has an asterisk next to it, which means I can use more than one. Okay. Otherwise, you can only use one item or nice. one one quantity of it. So I, I want to be collecting explosives and keys, uh, and more importantly, explosives. All right. That's my turn. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to play. Uh, do we draw an event? Oh, card? we draw. You need to draw an event card. We drew after you, right? Yes. Remember, okay. it's right here. We, we, we both done it. Oh, did we draw after me? No, we did not draw after me, but that's okay. All right, okay. So, party rally, move Hitler and all deputies to Nuremberg. Hitler and all deputies, okay, so it didn't affect us at yeah. all. Nuremberg's right here. Yeah, so all there. So they're all hanging out. Just one big hangout. So now you would draw yours. Okay. And mine is visit from Himmler. Move Himmler to the space with the nearest conspirators. Okay, so... That's either me or you. We're okay. both adjacent. Uh, if there's only cons one conspirator on the space, that conspirator may roll a die. On a roll of one, two, or three, they raise their motivation by that amount. On a roll of the suspicion sign, mm -hmm. they raise the suspicion by two. Okay, so then we can think about, do you, do you want him to come to you or me? Because it's equal distance. Well, it's up to you. Okay. Uh, I think it would be pretty good if you can get too motivated. Okay. Because that gives you a good chance to move two levels, mm -hmm. right? Well, yeah, I'm un no, well, I'm unaffected by Hitler and his deputies, and uh, I get an extra dice for a plot attempt. Right, that's what you would get if you're motivated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I only need one more thing, and I can try to assassinate him. True. I need a map. If we can find a map, mm -hmm. and get over it, because you want to kill him early. Uh, how many would, how much, how many, how many dice would you roll for that? Uh... We have to, well, he's not in if Berlin. If you are in the same, okay, well, once he gets over to Berlin, that would be one. Then signature would be two, three, four, and then I would get an extra dice, five. And we would need to roll four targets. Yep. But it is an attempt. But I gotta get motivated first. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna move him to you then. Okay. Himmler, where is he? He's in there. There he is. Okay, roll a die. Uh, what's that? Minus one what? Uh, suspicion. Plus one. Oh, plus one suspicion? So I would move to high. <sighs> Not yet. Okay. You can just move out, move out on your turn. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, all right, let's see what happens. One. Uh, so that means you roll, yeah, raise your motivation by one. Okay. So now I get, I can have six card dossier limit. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Okay. Really good. Okay. All right. That was that. Okay. So. Whose turn is it? <laughs> it's now my turn. Okay. Now here's what we're going to do. We're going to come back uh, in a couple of turns and we'll let you know where we're at. If anything key happens, we will... Uh, we'll resume the taping. Cool. Cool? Alright, let's go.